Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here inside the Paris Las Vegas Resort and Casino. We are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to try out two new eateries here at Paris. We are. We're going to try out Vanderpumps and the Bedford, Martha Stewart. Yes. I'm so excited for both of them. Right. Yeah. And uh, these are highly requested to us by, yes. by a lot of viewers. And at least the Vanderpump is uh, Caesar's location. A lot of people have asked us, this is a new location, and so we're going to try That's this right. one out and see. It looks beautiful. Yeah, and Martha Stewart's, uh, they just opened like a week ago, a week and a half uh, ago? Top of, yeah, not that long ago. Right, so yeah, we're, we're excited to try both places. We are. I, but first up, it's going to be Vanderpop. Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. Vanderpumps à Paris. So this is their menu. This is the drink side, which is pretty extensive. And this is their food side. They're saying the drinks, especially their specialty drinks, their signature drinks are very spirit forward. So keep that in mind if you're coming here. But we're gonna go ahead and get some drinks, some drinkies, and then we're gonna see what kind of food we're gonna get. We got the bird cage. This is a charcuterie plate. Look at all the meats the little pickles, some chips, and look at the baguette with some mustard. Oh wow. yeah, the big, yeah, mini baguettes, yep. the house-made chips. This is one of the most beautiful presentation for like a meat board that I've seen. Wow. Look at this bird cage, it's like amazing. You know when you order a dish and it's too pretty to eat, this is what this is. This presentation is just ridiculous. Look at this, a, look at the beautiful, pieces of, of meat and the, of course the baguette for the bread. Even the mustard comes in a really fancy pants little holder. We're gonna go ahead and try this stuff out. Let's go ahead and get one of these little ah, meat oh, wow. trays. It's on like a little shish kebab. Sorry, it's on a little shish kebab. These little things don't stay on very well. We're gonna ahead and get one of these here. Luckily they give us two. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Just like a little rose, right? With a little pepper in there. Mmm. Oh, wow. This pepper is a little bit spice. It is sweet. Matches along with this meat and they have house-made chips. Mm. This right here. This is worth the visit here. If you get nothing else, come and get this bird's page charcuterie. This is delicious. We only we out for the meat. They have one with cheese too. But here you go. Let's get all the meat. We're not driving. It looks like some, uh, what is it? Some salami maybe? Mm -hmm. And some green olives. So let me just take one of these out. The olives are not stuffed, if you're wondering. Yes, look at that. Here we go. You're not even an olive person, babe, and how is it? Yeah, I'm not an olive person at all. But it's not bad at all. It actually matches this, I think it's salami. Great flavor to it. Of course, you know, hit it with a little house-made chips. It's fancy. A little too fancy for me, but I like it. Look how cute these are. These are just so cute. These are the warm baguettes, actually. I'm gonna hit this up with a little bit of mustard. Right here. A little bit of mustard here on the side. Let's try out this mustard. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. That mustard is delicious. You can taste. It's like the cross between a French's mustard and like a great coupon type mustard, which is really good. This bread. Wow. This bread. It's it is to die for. It is buttery, it is nice, and it's crunchy. 
this bread, this meat, and that's like what it's a prosciutto or something. Very easy eating. Great balance in the saltiness of the bread. Bread, great fat to it. Look at they even have like little Parmesan chips. It has those little pickles. Wow. Oh yeah. This charcuterie plate. I just come here for this. This is so far excellent. Mm -hmm. A muskrat. Yeah, it actually looks like maybe candy, candy nuts or something. Yeah, I think so. Let's try it. Yeah, slightly candied uh, pecans. Might be other kind of the nuts. Yeah. What's on the bottom? Is it different yeah, it's type a peanuts? Of nuts? It's like a assorted nuts. Are they warm nuts? Unfortunately, no. At least not in the ones in my hand. We had ordered the Love Locks. What this is, is a very beautiful cocktail. It has a locket on the bottom along with the key. You, after you're done with your drink, you take the Sharpie, you write on the Sharpie your, your initials, and then they have a wall that you can put it on. So we're ready for that. You know how we are. Cheers, Cheers my babe. Mate. Oh, delicious. Oh, it's flowery. It's not that flowery, thankfully. It's not like drinking that rose water, right? <laughs> yeah. This is delicious. It's a little bit on the sweet side, a little bit on the tart side. Yeah. It is. Interesting flavor. I don't have gin in it. Yeah, oh, I think wow. that's what I'm tasting. And they're saying, I'm a fan of gin. And all of their drinks here are very spirit forward. Mm. So keep in mind, don't know how many we can have of these, but this is delicious. That's okay. This is perfect. Yeah. Love Cheers, you, babe. My babe. We got the chicken cone feet. Look at this, how beautiful this looks. It looks amazing. Look at that. Nice, good, delectable chicken tenders. And we got also some of their juicing fries all covered in cheese. Let's wow, go ahead fancy. and try this fancy cheese out first of all. And they have a little dipping. Look at all the cheese that's on there. Let's go ahead and put that dip. Wow. You can taste the lemon, you can taste a little bit of trouble. Those are really good fries. Try Oh yeah. Great fries, great fries. Let's try this chicken out. This has the same sauce as the one for the fries. Oh. Easy there, easy there. Dip this in there. Look at that. Hot. Mm. Chicken pieces are tender. They're delicious. These are not heavily battered at all. These are good. Do they have any kind of seasoning on they the have batter? A very slight seasoning. This one tastes like a, a little bit of a sweeter relish. Tomato-based relish. These are excellent, excellent. They're gonna kill me. These are excellent chicken tenders. I don't know if I would pay their price for these again, but they're very good. Beautiful presentation for their sea bass right here. You can see all these little Greek crispies, looks like spinach and these edible flowers. Look how pretty those are. This is pretty flowers. Great lemon and almond on this bass. So we're gonna go ahead and get a piece of that right here. Yeah, beautiful presentation on that. Oh my gosh, that. it is beautiful. Yeah. Wow, look at this piece. That good, huh, babe? This is a beautiful fish. Wow. Yeah, wow. It, it does look really good. Look at that. That edges is a little bit crispy. The sauce matches perfectly with this very light butter type cream sauce. 
This fish is perfectly cooked. It has a little hint of that lemon in there. Let's go ahead and try these little fried little bits. Oh yeah. It tastes like fried spinach maybe, a fried herb. Never thought to fry them, but they bring that different flavor when you fry them. Wow. This together, it's a fried spinach. I can taste the spinach spice. You get a little bit of fish, and you get a little bit of that little fried spinach. Oh, wow. This is a must-get when you're here. Here is a cast iron filet. It comes in a little cast iron pot. So it's got the, uh, the big piece of filet here, and a little bit of veggies, uh, an onion, radish and little tomatoes but we're not into the vegetables here so let's just go right into this wow look at that as, as i pierce it with the fork it is very tender and it's got a little bit of gravy on it or some type of a reduction sauce they didn't bring out a steak knife so i guess um they have confidence in the tenderness of the meat tender enough babe Yes, so here we go, right here. That's a good filet. It is aggressively seasoned, along with that reduction sauce. It is delicious. Now, I don't know why they're not serving it along with some mashed potatoes. Maybe that's just the, uh, the uh, I don't know, American. Fanciness yeah. of it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so yeah, there's no potatoes. I think it would be awesome if they had like either mashed or fingerling potatoes with this. But the beef, excellent. Yeah. Would you get it again? Maybe with the side of, uh, well, you know what? The, our fries. server recommended the side of fries. So maybe the fries are to be meant with the steak. So now we have some steak frites. We just elevated another level. Now it's good. So again, on the bottom of our drinks is our key on one side and lock it on the other. You see that it says Bill and Lisa, food and travel, and of course my lovely art skills. I have a Mickey head and a plane. That is a plane. Oh wow. I even put clouds around it so you know it's a plane. Nice. Thank you, babe. So uh, yeah, we'll show where it goes. So if you ever come over here, maybe you'll, you'll see it. Yeah. Alrighty, we got the bland, I think it's called the Grand Platter. Yeah, or Grand Selection. Here's my little cheat notes here. We yeah. got, so you can pick in your Grand Selection right there in the bottom, you can pick any of these desserts, three of them. So we got the Grand Puff, the Chocolate Bread Pudding, and the Creme Brulee Beignets. And this is what they look like. Here's the Creme Brulee Beignets. The Grand Puff. Wow. And the chocolate bread pudding. Wow. Now they're so beautifully decorated with all of these roses. Look how pretty this rose is. Not only that, but there's some little gold flakes on that Grand Puff. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at that. That's fancy wow. right there. Try this it out. That's what I call fancy pants dessert. We're going to disassemble this Grand Tower. I got to try this Grand Tower Cream Puff. That's a good cream puff. Bread, really nice, really soft. That cream in the inside. Not a very sweet mustard. This outside is caramel. So this matches perfectly because the outside is sweet but the inside is not. That is delicious. Chocolate bread pudding. You know we're a fan of bread pudding. Let's try it out. I know that some of this ice cream started to melt a little bit, so you know it's warm. Oh, look at that. It has layers. And it's got little um, dark and white chocolate, little chocolate balls on here. But here we go. Let's try this out. Yeah. That's a good one. Delicious. Great bread pudding. 
I love that it's warm. Ice cream complements it perfectly. And these little chocolate balls, it has a snap to it. This is delicious. Look at that. Oh, I can see the steam. Look at that, it's a steamer. Great cinnamon, or very light cinnamon type of flavor in that bread pudding. It's, uh, it's up there. We're gonna go ahead and attempt this creme brulee beignet again because the one on top didn't have cream, but as you can see, they do have cream in them. Oh wow. This is delicious with the cream. That custard, great creme brulee flavored, a little bit hint of that vanilla you get in that creme brulee with that toasted sugar on top. Oh yeah. That's the one, huh? This is the one. Let me see the inside. Do the cream right there. Okay, so maybe some of them are filled and some are not. Right. Then. Make sure you get the filled ones. This is the locket wall. The locket wall. So I have Bill, Lisa, Food and Travel with the Mickey and the airplane on the back. Yes. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Let's lock this one up. Uh-oh, I got stuck. There we go. There we go. All locked up. It's now we're in this restaurant forever. It's right there, huh? It's right here, baby. Okay, there it is. And this is where all the, like, the candles are? Yeah. There we go. We just made our mark at uh, Vanderpump's. Yeah, made our mark. A little review of uh, Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. Yeah, it was good. Uh, put it in our rotation of restaurants? Probably not. I would definitely, though, if we do, get that charcuterie. That charcuterie birdcage was amazing. It was. Uh, it and was. Uh, probably the... Uh, the uh, bread pudding, chocolate bread pudding. How yeah, that was my favorite. And the fish entree was that excellent. Fish. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken tenders, uh, if, you, if you're bringing some kids along, that's a perfect choice for yeah. them. Now, this is not a cheap restaurant by all means. So just a heads up. Um, a drinks are expensive. The food's expensive. But you want to try it, I give this place a try. Sure. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it was a nice experience. It was. It, it was. was, yes. So now we have a few hours to kill before our next dinner spot. Yes, yes. Which is going to be uh, Martha Stewart's. Right. I can't wait. Yes. Well, we're waiting for uh, Martha Stewart to thought we'd walk outside. The weather cooled down quite a bit. It did, it did. Because we have uh, the, just the cloud coverage, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. It's actually kind of pleasant, huh, babe? Yeah, because it was like over 100 degrees this afternoon, but was, not too bad now. And it was a bit humid, too. So the humidity went away a little bit. Right. And you know, for uh, Tuesday night? Yeah. Or Monday Tuesday. night? Monday, Monday night. night. Yeah. Well, of course, when I bring it up, not that many people. But yeah, there's a lot of people. And uh, yeah, found show. Yeah. Of all, don't you love this lamp? I, I'm gonna have Bill look it up on Amazon and see if I can get some. This is like the coolest little lamp, yeah. little Pina. Very, right there. very bright LED right it's here. It's a bright LED. Oh, and you just touch and turn it on. Oh, yeah, that's a bright one. I like that one. This is how they do their salt and pepper. They, when you sit at the table, this is what they give you the salt and pepper. This is the classic setup. We're ready to try this menu. So according to our server, the place setting is exactly the way Martha Stewart would have it when she has guests over at her home. Exactly like this. What did you get there for a drink? I have a sweet wine. I forgot the name. I know it's from France. Okay, I have the uh, non-alcoholic red tea. Cheers. Not sweet. No, red tea. Yeah, your red tea is not sweet. Yes, it's not. This is uh, this is very good. It's very refreshing. It's almost like a refresher, but it, like you said, it's not sweet at all. This is delicious. Nice dry wine. Look how colossal these shrimp are. They're unbelievable. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. This is a shrimp cocktail. Look at that. 
oh my gosh, they have the cocktail sauce and they have the tartar sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this up with some lemon first. Let me go ahead and if I can grab this lemon. Hit this up with some lemon. And let's try it with this cocktail sauce. There we go. That is a delicious tasting shrimp. It is sweet. Nicely done. Look at how big these tails are. Oh yeah. Let's try this tartar sauce. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Only thing in the shrimp after you eat is it's really lemon. It doesn't really need any of the sauces. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the, that's what took it right there. Here's Martha's big pierogies. Yes. I almost yeah. said uh, Martha's uh, big Martha's pierogies. Yes. <laughs> now check it out. Good size. You got five to an order. It's um, it has potato and brown butter. Looks very decadent. Yes. Let me slice into one of these. And you can you can uh, definitely raise this up with some caviar. Yes, you can. But we're not big caviar people, so. Let's try this. It's just dripping with butter. These are delicious. It's like pillowy soft mashed potatoes inside. And that butter, I don't know what, what that brown butter does to it, but it just elevates the taste. And the pierogi what, is just like um, some type of skin on the outside, like, like pasta skin. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I, I think it's a, it's a Polish dish. But it is wonderful. I highly recommend this one. If you're a caviar, maybe you want to add some on top, but as is, by design, delicious. I love this. This is the halibut with corn chowder. Look how beautiful this looks. It has pieces of clam in there. You can see this corn is cut right off the cob right here. You know, definitely paid attention to detail, spared no expense. I'm gonna first try this chowder. The tomato has been, I guess, de-skinned, as you can say. That is delicious. Let me try out this tile a bit. That chowder is a little bit sweet, and I know it's gonna be the, it's the natural sweetness of the corn. This chowder also has veggies in it. This all of it. It is cooked to perfection. Up here. Nice crispy skin, nice flaky fish in the inside. Corn chowder into this little clam. Of course, you know, that's a natural spoon right there. Wow. This is stunning. Here we have the short rib ragu. They put a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano on top of it. Let's try it out. You can tell this has some great pieces of short rib on here. Look at that. That looks like a good bite. I love these noodles. They're like they're like twisted. I'm not sure what, what kind of noodles what what they're called, but great flavor. Cooked to perfection. This pot roast with the celery and carrots. It kind of reminds me of like a like a pot roast. The, uh, the short rib, it's very tender, very flavorful. It marries well with the with this gravy and all the little vegetables in it. It's a great combination. And it's a good size serving in my opinion that I think it's gonna give you, it get you kind of full if you eat the whole thing. Yeah, this is great. Love it. Another winning dish. really good. I forgot what the sauce was. I know I got it on video though. This is the salmon. It kind of reminds me of a salmon wellington, but it doesn't have any of that mushroom in the inside of it. We're going to go ahead and break this 
bread and get that piece of salmon in there. Look at all the veggies in there. You have the flaky crust, you have the veggies, you have this lovely sauce. Amazing salmon flavor with the lemon verblanc. Not really lemon forward, but you can taste that hint of lemon in there. But it matches perfectly with the salmon. Hot potato. Perfect, thank you. Hot potato. There we go. How much money do you like? All of it. There you go. Why are you mad? Thank you. Here is their famous smashed potato. You see how the guy did it? Kind of smash them, spread it. Now it's ready to be filled. We already have some butter, some salt and pepper. And uh, this looks like some bacon or some uh, pork lardon. belly, right? Everybody in, right there, look at that. And of course we're gonna hit it up with the, uh, the creme fraiche, which is almost like there's sour cream, I would imagine. Oh yeah, it's getting better now. And of course, the tiny little chives. Now tell me, yes. how's that look? Delicious, babe. Delicious. Let me Stir go it all in. up. Yeah, let me go in for a bite. I know this is not your regular russet potato. It's a little bit more fancier than that. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. I had to go deep to get this. It's going to be well worth it. This potato is so soft. It literally is almost like a mashed potato inside of a baked potato, if that makes any sense. It is delicious. Of course, the pork belly gives it just the right amount of saltiness to it. That creme fraiche just adds to it. I'm a fan of baked potatoes, and this is excellent. Very good. Perfect for sharing, or not. This is the summer tion, which is really the lovely vegetables. They're layered, it kind of reminds me of like a ratatouille, the way it's layered. All the vegetables are thinly sliced. They are layered in here. They are baked to perfection. That taste of the fresh vegetable flavor just comes out. This is also a winner winner vegetable side dinner, maybe. It this works. Really good. Upside down lemon meringue is sold out. So it's good to know that, you know, when you are here, you have to order it. So we got the chocolate tart with pistachio. Let's go ahead. It looks so decadent. Let's go. Dig into this. Oh yeah. Uh, it smells like hot chocolate. This is yummy. I believe this is whipped cream. Mm. It's cold, but it reminds me of an inside of a chocolate lava cake. Got really good, kind of like putting like inside of a chocolate lava cake. That's what it exactly tastes like. Oh, this is delicious. I like it. Black currant sorbet. All these sorbets and ice cream are made in house. And give you some three little cookies. Shortbread cookies. Shortbread cookies. Let's try it out. Uh, black currant, it's like a, uh, what is it? A Cherry and a blackberry pushed together. You have to head a baby, you have a black currant. Yep, that's what our server told us. Oh, dude, I said it. Oh, very good. You know what it reminds me of? You remember those fruit roll-ups when you were a kid? You undo it from the from the cellophane. Remember that? You, that's what it tastes like. Wow. Yeah, and those were like 100% fruit, right? So. How's the cookie?
great, short bread, okay. Nothing um, extra added in the flavor of it. So it does match well because it's like a neutral shortbread. But that shortbread is the start of the show. Very refreshing after that meal. This is the good capper. Recommend it. Martha Stewart's The Bedford. What do you think, babe? It was delicious, baby. I'd come here again. The food was so simple and so delicious. Yes, you know, my favorite was Martha's Big Pierogi mm -hmm. with the potato and brown butter. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. And I love the halibut. Yeah, that with was that good too. that corn chowder. Oh my gosh. The, yeah. the uh, veggies were al dente. They were just amazing. They were delicious. Yeah, yeah. I, I, in fact, everything we had was great. Yeah. In fact, we have a lot of leftovers. Oh, yeah. And they give it to you in a cool bag. Look at that. Right? I like it. Yes, yes. Do you have any shout outs, babe? I do. Here we go. Kyle, happy belated birthday. Uh, Albie, happy heavenly birthday. And happy birthday to the following people. Minnie, Stephen Average, Madi Amai, Paula, Dave Lawson, Mirna and Jen, Aliyah, Dean, which we just met here. Yes. Dean, happy birthday. Um, Daddy Dave, Caitlin, happy birthday to everyone. Yes. Abigail and Rodney, thank you so much for watching. They're um, Trinidad. Yeah, that's right. Right, right? Yes. Abigail and Rodney, thank you so much for watching. Um, Adam and Dean, they're the ones that reached us out here. We reached, we wished you a happy birthday. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much for reaching out to yes, us. Yes, yes, nice to meet and you guys. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Kiyoshi Watanabe, thank you, or happy retirement, and thank you so much for watching. And Helena and Steve, happy anniversary. Wow, that is a lot of birthdays. It's a lot of anniversaries. Birthdays, yeah. Wow, it's a busy month for August, September. We are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or it is. <laughs> we yeah, are. so yeah, we hope you enjoyed these two uh, nice restaurants here at the Paris mm -hmm. uh, Resort. Yeah, what standouts. Would you, what would you pick up your, for your perfect meal? I think my perfect meal is the Vanderpump. Uh, charcuterie board in, a, charcuterie in that bird cage. In the bird cage. Yeah, that was a, that, that was really good. I would do the charcuterie, then I would come over to Martha Stewart and do the halibut. Uh, you would do the pierogies. Yes. And both, both places had delicious desserts. You would do the maybe the the chocolate butter uh, bread pudding, chocolate bread pudding. Yeah, that, from Vanderpump. Yes, that was excellent. I wish we could have tried the uh, upside down lemon meringue. Yeah. From Martha's, yeah, but, but the black something current. for do do next time. Yeah, but the black currant sobe was uh, delicious. A very, that was a that was a refreshing way to top off the meal yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So thanks everybody for watching our uh, little night. Uh, I guess a day out. Yeah. Night out here in uh, at the Paris. Uh, stay tuned for another Vegas vlog coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. So until that one, we'll catch you guys in the next one.